What's up you guys? My name is Aubrey and this is my channel. So you guys know that I love talking about money and more specifically, I love talking about income streams and how to possibly increase your income streams. One of the things that I find incredibly interesting in the world of like money and finance and income is figuring out how much people make. I just think this topic is super interesting. I always have. And so whenever I saw this YouTube video by the channel cut titled a hundred people tell us how much money they make, I was super intrigued. So in this video, we're going to be reacting to this video published by Cut. I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and we will just simply go from there. So, Let's get started. But before we dig in, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that like button as well. You know, I've been here on YouTube now for a year and a half, and I think for the most part, I am known for my content regarding financial news and stimulus related content. But many people don't know before I started doing stimulus related content, I was doing videos just like this reaction videos and finance videos. And I really want to start incorporating those videos back into the channel. So if you guys are interested in checking out all of my content, make sure to hit subscribe make sure to hit the notification bell so that you're notified with every single video I publish. Now with that, let's dig in to the video. How much money do you make? Oh shit. My yearly salary? Yeah, what do you make? Oof. Mm -mm. And even as a child, you're always taught, don't ask anybody that's a question, that's a personal question. You know, I have never understood the weird mindset that people have with how much money they make. I've never understood with being secretive about it and why it's considered to be like a taboo subject. I mean, we talk about what we do as a living. Like, I don't think anybody would blink twice if somebody was like, hey, what do you do for work? Or what do you do for a living? But the second that you ask, oh, how much money do you make? It's considered this like line that has been crossed. And it's just so weird to me. I have always been super upfront with how much I make. I feel like I was raised in a household that was super upfront with it as well. And even whenever I wasn't making good money, I was pretty upfront with my salary and how much I was making and how much I was earning. And I've just never understood that mindset as a whole. So it's something that's super strange to me. Uh, do I have to tell you? Are you comfortable telling Well, I'm not really comfortable with telling you anything. That's for me to know and for me to know. You know, I have this theory regarding income and like the secretive aspect of your income. And this is a theory that I've seen online a lot, so I, I didn't make it up, though I would love to take credit for it, is that the reason why people don't say how much they make is because it's this like idea that has been fostered by businesses to avoid paying everybody equal pay. I mean, if you are super transparent about how much somebody's earning for a certain position or how much you could expect to earn, then the chances of underpaying a specific individual or a specific employee are going to go down. Whereas if you're super vague about what people are being paid, if you kind of like foster this environment where you're not supposed to share your salary, I think that it allows for businesses to just inherently underpay their staff. And I really do think that that's kind of where this came from. I think being transparent about what you make should not only be like a norm amongst just friends, families, and general society, but I also think that it should be the norm with like companies as well. I think that pay needs to quit being this like elusive secretive thing that you only find out about once you're signing a contractual agreement and it said it should be something that is just talked about up front. The other thing that I think is really interesting about talking about pay is the fact that if you talk about pay in a really transparent way, it can really kind of push people into the right fields that work for them. The fact is money is a motivating factor for almost everybody. And if you know that a certain job is not going to allow for you to support the lifestyle that you want to, then you can just skip that career path altogether. And alternatively, you could go towards career paths that will help foster that income level that you're striving for, regardless of what career that is. But again, I guess I'm I'm beating a dead horse at this point because I really do think that this is like a weirdly secretive thing and there's no reason for it to be that way. I don't work right now. I'm just a stay at home mom. Stay at home with my kids. I also think that saying that you're a stay at home mom, there isn't a zero dollar value to that. I think that if you're a stay at home mom, you're probably getting income from your spouse. And I think at that point, the income kind of needs to be divided. I'm a big believer that a stay at home mom or a stay at home dad is definitely a job and there shouldn't be like a zero dollar value assigned to that. So I think that these people need to give themselves a bit more credit. Not a lot. A whole lot of nothing. 8,800 a year. 16,000 a year. Are you happy? I am happy. Wait, happy with what? Does that amount 
no. I think it's really interesting to explore the lower side of the income threshold. I think that everybody's really interested to learn about the people making hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars per year. But what about the people who are making, you know, $10,000 a year, $15,000 a year? I think that this topic is almost just as interesting because I am always interested to learn how do you make that 16,000 last for the entire year? What is your living situation like? What is your food situation like? What is your transportation situation like? Where are you living? It's where you can afford to do that. Because me, I mean, I live in Dallas and granted I do live in a house and I don't have to live in a house, but even whenever I lived in a one bedroom apartment in Dallas, I was paying, you know, $14,000 a year in rent. And it certainly wasn't a super nice apartment. It wasn't super lavish, it was very average. And so it's like, where are you living? What is your living situation like in order to support that income, in order to be able to live off of that income? I think it's something that's really interesting to explore. I don't know. <laughs> What do you think about your best guess? Um, you do your taxes? No. I think it's always interesting to see how people don't know how much money they make. And I understand that if like you're not a W2 worker, if you don't have a 1099, if you're just kind of doing stuff on your own, it sometimes isn't as clear how much money you're making. But to just have no idea how much you're making on a year by year basis, I don't think that's a very good combination. The first rule of budgeting is you need to figure out how much money is coming in each and every month. So he definitely, definitely needs to learn how to calculate his income. A majority of it goes to bills, gas, car payments, car insurance, health insurance, healthy food, weed, and drinking, yes. Do you have rent? Uh, rent, yeah. Rent, rent. How much is your rent? $825 a month. Five. That's really reasonable. I wonder if he has a roommate or if he's living by himself. 825 is pretty decent, I mean, I guess it depends where you're located. 825 for some people would be expensive. Again, I think that the disparity across the country with rent prices is absolutely crazy. It's crazy to like look at places like LA compared to places like Dallas compared to places like North Carolina where you can get like a full house for $800 a month. It's just, it's crazy. I'm a server. 61,000. I'm a daycare rider. 60 to 70. I'm a so we are just now getting into that average income for the United States. According to a recent study, the average income in the United States is just about 68,000 per year. That has been historically increasing over the last few years. And so that data may be a bit different for 2020, but as of 2019, the average American made $68,000 per year, or I should say the average salary in America was 68,000 per year. So we are just now heading into that average salary territory here with this video. Close to 100,000. What are you doing? I'm a plumbing engineer. I'm telling you guys, trade jobs are where it's at. I think that trade jobs are the best type of jobs out there, at least one of the best. You know, I, I think so often whenever we're looking for high paying jobs, people like veer towards office jobs and like the traditional corporate America job. But the fact is trade jobs like plumbers, electricians, and so much more is a great way to earn such a good income. And I don't know about you guys, but I would choose to do like plumbing work, electrical work, like labor labor work over an office job every single day of the week. And I know that's easy for me to say because I don't necessarily have like a labor intensive job, but my point is labor jobs, trade jobs are something that far too many people sleep on. You can make ridiculously good money doing what is oftentimes considered blue collar. And it's crazy. People sleep on it. You got to look into it. How much do you have Really? That's personal. I know. That's why I like this question. You know, I do kind of see where this person is coming from with this like savings question. Now, don't get me wrong. I think that people need to be more transparent about their finances in general. So I would disclose how much I have in savings any day of the week but I do see it more so than your salary because of the fact that with your savings, it's more of a direct reflection of your habits than your salary is. Because for the most part, if you're in a specific field, you can't really control your salary. Like teachers are notoriously underpaid, but they can't really control that. So the fact that a teacher makes like 50 to 60 K, it's not in their control. It's not a reflection of them. But if somebody who makes a hundred K has zero dollars in savings, that is absolutely a direct reflection of their spending habits. And that that could be embarrassing depending on the situation. So I can kind of see that, but I still think people are far too non-transparent about finances in general. I made $104,000 this year. I am an electrician. Blue collar jobs, I'm telling you, people are sleeping on blue collar jobs. About $160,000. I don't think I need to make more money. I think money's an illusion. 
Money is an illusion. So this is funny because whenever I was clicking on this video, I was reading some of the comments beforehand and there were a ton of comments on this cut video about that woman's comment about money being an illusion. And I think it's funny because it's always people who make good income that make those comments like money is an illusion or money doesn't mean anything or money won't buy happiness. And you know, I feel like I can comment on this with some experience because in the last five years, I've gone from being somebody who was super broke to having a good six figure income stream. I can say that money may not necessarily buy happiness, but being broke absolutely can make you unhappy. And the effects that living paycheck to paycheck are not having enough money to live off of and make ends meet, the effects that that can have on your emotional health, your physical health, your mental health is just beyond comprehension. You don't even really understand how much of an effect it can have until you are somebody who's been through that. So the fact that this woman says that money is an illusion leads me to believe that she probably has always been financially well off because I think anybody who's been broke in their life would disagree with that. Money is definitely not an illusion and it can absolutely have a huge effect on your life. That's nobody's real business. I just, you asked me, do I, do I have an income? Yeah, I do. Do I make some money? Yeah, I can. What is it? I do a little of this, I do a little, do a little of that. You know, it's just so funny to me. I definitely think that it's like kind of an old school style of thinking, even though there were younger people who refused to disclose their income in this video. But like the lack of transparency, I think is definitely something that comes from an older generation. I could be wrong on this. So if I am wrong, leave a comment down below. But the idea of keeping things like your income, your political views, your religious views, I've never understood keeping those things a secret because so often they are like such a deep contributing factor to who somebody is as a person that the idea of keeping that a secret from the people around you, I think is always very interesting. But with that being said, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I think that it's really interesting and really fascinating and also entertaining to go through and see what other people are making. And I would love to hear your thoughts on this video down below. So make sure to leave a comment. I would love to hear your thoughts on kind of what you thought of these people's salary. Do you make more than them? Do you make less than them? Were you surprised by their salaries? I would love to hear it. So make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.